Hello and welcome back to a new week with me. About to go run some errands and you guys are coming along. Since I've been cooped up in the house, I haven't put on normal human clothes. I have been in my rags of comfort, <laughs> but it feels good to put on some makeup, have my hair brushed <laughs> and a cute outfit on. Yeah, errands together. I have to pack my makeup kit tomorrow. I leave for Seattle. Well, I, I drive up to Seattle. We're gonna do some wedding makeup trial with the lovely bride. After that, I am going to drive over not far from where I will be to a private studio. It's the tattoo artist that will be doing my next tattoo. We're gonna have a consultation and talk about it. Today, I also have to stop by the thrift store. There's like a ton of stuff sitting out like still from the kitchen project a pile of things that have been in the living room that I need to donate. It's just been boxes piled up and it's driving me crazy. I need to get rid of it. And then I have to go pick up some stuff for my makeup kit for tomorrow's makeup. So it's a lot, uh, but otherwise we're about to actually, speaking of makeup, sit down and do a little tutorial together. So hopefully you're here for that. I know I have been doing a lot of makeup lately. I've been homesteading and nesting, but I do wanna do some makeup-y stuff with you still. I'm gonna do the wing that I did last week with the hooded eye. So it's just a little tip and trick on how I do that wing in particular. It's gonna be crazy. You're gonna be like, what is she doing? But trust the process. I just added online makeup one-on-ones as a service you can book. So I talked about doing that actually back over lockdown and I just never got around to doing it. So it was hard for all of us to focus during all that. So I just, I feel like it would have been nice to start it then, but I'm glad I didn't because now I'm so much more comfortable with like Zoom and online web stuff because I have so many meetings that way. I think we all are more comfortable on Zoom. If you want to sit down with me, we'll just sit and chat girl to girl, grab coffees, hang out, whatever you have with all your makeup, you can bring it with you, set it down and let me know what you want to learn. If you want to learn contour, if you want to learn a cool eye look, if you want to get know more about your brows, I just, I can give you any of the advice of the 15 plus years of makeup training and experience and certifications that I've received over the years. I will pass that on to you and do my best to teach you the best way to get what you want accomplished. And I think it'd be a fun way to interact with you guys like the viewers so if you would like to book me i'll leave the link for that down below a lot of times people will be like oh don't judge my brows i don't really know what i'm doing or oh my makeup looks terrible and i'm just like please i don't judge people because of how their makeup looks ever like i don't i'm not gonna sit there and be like oh you know what i mean i'm not like that come on you know me i'm not like that i'm not judgmental this is the judgment free zone <laughs> If you can't tell, I'm very excited about today. <laughs> I'm excited to go run errands. Like for me, that's an outing. <laughs> it's like, we we're gonna go. We're going thrifting though, because when I drop off all that stuff at the thrift store, you know I'm walking up in there and checking stuff out because I want to look for some gardening books. I'm gonna see if I can find any cool, like vintage looking gardening books <laughs> or anything, honestly, like bread, <laughs> better bread. Because I made bread again and it's so bomb. I'm, I'm like the bread lady. <laughs> we're gonna take a here's here's where the lesson begins official we're going to take a cream eyeshadow stick the reason why i'm doing this is because it's easy i don't have to do anything crazy with it i don't even need a tool i just can apply it straight to the lid i should have grabbed metallic taupe this one's always so much more pretty on me because it's a little bit warmer it looks almost just like my skin this is actually gonna be a very important part. You wanna get yourself a really good eyeliner because having a bad eyeliner will make this whole experience so horrible. I'm not a fan of felt tips. I like the Epic Ink Liner by NYX. It's affordable and it works good. I've used every type of eyeliner, expensive to cheap, under the sun, and none of them work as good as this one. This is the best. It's the best. And I think it's age friendly too, like because it glides so easily, if you have a little more texture, you should still have some luck with it. You're, you're just gonna have to learn how to use the tool a little bit differently than say somebody who has perfectly stretched tight skin. You might have to lay it on its side, you know, and do more of like a stamping situation as opposed, nobody but nobody wants to go straight in like this with the pen. We don't wanna do that. We always wanna kind of lay it on its side whatever works for you. But if you're um, here for the lesson of how I do it, <laughs> I lay it on its side. So the first thing that we're gonna do when we're starting the liner, I'm gonna get you guys a little bit closer so you're gonna be pretty close to my eyes. I feel like, I feel like a mole. 
<laughs> I look so naked without my lashes. It will be easy for you if you set your mirror down and have it so where you're looking down at yourself. You aren't trying to look up and do it. You wanna be looking down. Same goes for when you're applying lashes. If you're putting lashes on, look down at them so you can go straight in, do it more precisely. So looking down on your mirror, take this beautiful pen that I love so dearly and have it on its side and just stamp your first spot. Don't open your eyes too much like I just did because that could stamp the top and that will drive you nuts. But just turn it on its side and just start gently stamping it. And this works in particular with people who have a little texture there. So stick to the lash line. Don't try too much to go up and fix it just yet even though it's stamped pretty good. Like that's a pretty thick, I like the thickness of that line. Now with the wing, still keep it tilted on its side. Start where your two little lids meet in that center. Put it at a little bit of an angle. I need to blink. And try not to pass out from holding your breath because <laughs> that's what I do. Get your line on there. Stop, take a breath. You'll get quicker, I swear. What we wanna do since you're hooded, right? This is when you can look up. You can look up directly at yourself. I'm gonna use a mirror. See how the skin flaps? If I do my liner right now, looking down and try to make it look pretty, when I go like this, it's gonna look horrible. It's not going to look like a nice cohesive wing at all. It's gonna have a skip in it because looking down, it's smooth. Looking up, the skin completely folds over it. It's annoying. Nothing like a wing that goes <laughs> It looks so stupid, right? So looking up, you're gonna take the top part of the wing and you're just going to connect it with your eye open, right? And fill it in. Can you see that? Ignore that, it's supposed to be there, okay? Trust the process. And then see right here where that can use a little connecting. This is where when your eyes open, everything moves a little different. Just connect it all. Okay, we'll worry about whipping that out a little bit more in a minute. Keep doing that until it's when your eyes open, it's a straight line across. You're like, it's not working. I swear it is. Now you've got it looking good when your eyes open. Now we got to fix it when you look down. So when you look down, this is what we want to do. Connect that, right? So this line is doing that. Take it on its side. and connect. Ha ha, see? Don't look up, whatever you do. While that's drying, since your eyes are already looking down, this is when you can start lightly going a little bit closer in to your inner lash line. Gentle stamping motions, gentle, gentle stamping, stamping motions. Don't go too quick. Hold your breath if you need to, but don't pass out because I've gotten close. <laughs> and then while your eyes still pointing down, this looks fine and it's a kind of cute little like nubby line. I like it, I don't hate it, but I do want it to whip out a little bit more. So we're gonna go and just give it more of a tail just for the sake of it having a wing. And you can mess around with this however you like. You can get a pointy Q-tip, get a little micellar or some makeup remover on it, fix anything if you don't like it. It doesn't have to be, you know, set in stone. Just keep shaping it until it's where you like it. But connect it by piece by piece. So it's not you trying to do the shape all in one motion. It's just not realistic. So I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be right back. Okay. Other side done, and that literally took me less than like a couple minutes. It's a great hack if you want to do a really cool looking graphic wing. You'll get complimented every time, every time. I've never left my house with this wing and not gotten a compliment. If you really play with some cool 
different colors on the outside of your blend like if you want to get wild and do like orange and pink and purple or whatever and then you do this graphic wing over it it's gonna look like you know what you're doing people are gonna be like oh she's a makeup artist just it just gives that like intentional cool trick it's a trick it's a trick that just about anybody should be able to do if it looks good on you now this graphic wing look doesn't look good on everybody some people have softer features and it just doesn't work so i'm gonna just uh go ahead and start my mascara and you do want to curl your lashes this would be a really cute look with a half lash so if you want to do a little on the end half lash application go for it i obviously can't do that because well i guess i could do the lilac street half lash if i really wanted to Anyway, I'm gonna do about 25 coats and I'll be back. Got a decent amount of mascara on. Not, not too bad, I didn't, I didn't go too bad, honestly. Okay, that's that. Done deal. Fun graphic wing that you can do at home for hooded eyes. All right, so here's the next order of business. I just need to check my kit to make sure I have all the supplies that I need in case I need to grab something while I'm out because I can't remember if I have any lashes left over from the last big wedding I did. I think the last one I did was like seven bridesmaids and I blasted through my lashes. Let's get this little puppy open. I've shown you guys this before, but this is the new makeup kit, which is great. I was using just a piece of small roller luggage with this little makeup kit, but now I've upgraded to a tackle box <laughs> like it's essentially a rolling tackle box we're gonna need translucent powder i have a good old laura mercier translucent which is my current um favorite it's essentially tons of lashes plenty of lat well i have two wispier ones two natural small ones i have a bunch of individuals and also this is just the trial so we're going to decide on her lashes and then we'll have her actual lash choice the day of and i just write all that stuff down so that we don't forget and i do have like a bridal book where i write all of the bride's information down in the book i need to find that and put that in here i don't know why that's not in here brush cleaner i'm gonna need more so i'm gonna put that on the list for what i need to pick up at ulta right now mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I wanted to get uh, the Dior Forever Skin Glow. I have a sharpener. Clean these brushes. I have some brushes that I still need to clean. I have like so many various types of mascara ones. All right, so you guys know how I've been lopping all my skirts off to make them shorter. Some of them I do like longer, but I would love them to just kind of kick up a little bit. And then I came across this. This is called a hike. And this will literally hike your skirt up a little bit higher and I'm going to give it a shot. And now what we do is we hike up the skirt in the spot. We want it to just come up a little bit. See, that's hecka cute. That is hecka cute. I love that. Love that. Look how cute. And I can see why it would be cute both sides if you wanted to do both sides. But I actually kind of like just the look of one little side, just kind of yanking it up, making it a little side situation. But how cute is that idea? I love this idea. It just makes you feel kind of flirty and shows a little leg. I think that'll be so cute in the summertime when you have a summer dress and you want it to look a little bit, um, a little sexier with your legs showing out. Oh my God, I love it. Sorry if I'm being annoying, but when I love something, <laughs> I get really excited about it. What a cute idea. I have to, I have to show this on Sienna and the Craftsman. <laughs> what I wanted to do today when we go thrifting is look for a dress that I think particularly would look really cool with a hike. So we're on the hunt for a really kind of long flowy, which is so funny because for the longest time I keep saying I always cut long short dresses short. Some dresses that I just don't want to cut. Either they're vintage or the length actually isn't bothering me for some reason. But some days I want to hike it up, some days I want to keep it long. For that situation, I now have this as an option. I mean, we'll look for all sorts of dresses. It's not particular to that, but that is the main goal at the thrift store today is looking for a long dress so that I can use my new skirt hikes. Yay! Hey, uh, can I have a 12 ounce caramel scotch latte? And do you have any scones? Yeah, let me check what, um, is that hot or ice? Hot. Alrighty, let me check on the scones for you. Okay, thanks. Oh no. 
No. Alrighty, sorry about that wave. Looks like we're going today. We have cranberry, orange, lemon, currant, and wild berry. And sorry, thanks, Barry. Okay, um, the cranberry sounds fabulous. I just realized that I left my wallet at the house, which is not far from here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you have like Apple Pay or any other option, but if not, I'm just gonna have to run and grab it. Yeah, we have Apple Pay. You do? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think that might work. Here's that for Thank you. you. I'm glad it worked out. I know, I, I, I'm glad I know how to do that now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I you. Love, I love like yeah, me too. I'm getting ready for spring. You know, it's in it's in my head. <laughs> Thank Have you. You too. Oh my God. Okay. I'm so glad I know how to do that now. <laughs> Yummy. Mm, got my wallet, and <clears throat> I actually am also glad that I forgot my wallet because I had to. I forgot all of the stuff that I was supposed to take to the thrift store and drop off to donate. <laughs> I'm glad I. uh turned around because that stuff is just going to sit in our living room forever. We are at the Valley Village. Let's do this. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. You know what? I got a coffee and I totally forgot to take it with me when I went thrifting. And one of my favorite things to do is sip and thrift something in that bag. It smells horrible. It's because it's a soap, it was probably used as a soap dish, so it's covered in the scent of someone's soap. Pretty foul. <laughs> what is on my glasses? Anyway, I think I found something that I have been looking for while thrifting for many, many years. It also felt like I kept hitting the jackpot. It's just one of those days. So anyway, um, my Sephora order is ready, so we're gonna head to that side of town. I just got some brush cleaner. I really wanted brush cleaner and a spray bottle. I usually use the Cinema Secrets. This was actually for the size of this, it was like 12 bucks, that's pretty good. So I would love it if that would be, you know, just as good. And then we just got a re-up of the Dior Forever Skin Glow. Nothing really too exciting just because that's like the foundation I've been using when I like put on foundation. Uh, I got this for my makeup kit and maybe just to toss into my purse. I like the idea of having a sanitizer that's really narrow. And then the final thing, that was it. That's all, literally all I got. I got an hourglass lip balm because I'm still in my hydrated touch of color lip look. And these look nice and they're new. There. And he, oh, the bird. All right, let's get into it. Let's look at the first thing because honestly, I just want to get it out of the way. Plus it's fragile. I snatched it right up because look at this. Holy crap. I can't believe this. I actually cannot believe it. Do you see, do you see this? <laughs> oh my God, I am so, I am so beside myself. Okay, so first of all, the reason why I love it so much is because it looks like jade glass. I think it's actually milk glass because this is a vintage Avon little jar and plate. So when I screenshotted it and Google Lens searched this particular piece, it ranges in price anywhere from 50 to 150. On eBay, it's like bidding at 150 right now and I got it for $1.99. <laughs> I am so stoked. I love that it's Avon, first of all. It has these floral details. I'll show you this one first. Roses on the front and printed into the front of it. The detail around this, I can't. And then the plate to match with all of the detail around the bottom. But when I opened this, and it wasn't until I got it home because I was like, this thing smells. It had a smell of like a, it was like an essential oil of some sort, maybe like a, what would go inside of like an infuser like this, but it felt, it smelled almost as if it had turned because God knows how long it's been sitting in here and then God knows how long it's been in, in a warehouse and then it made it to the shelf at the thrift store. So it's been sitting with oil inside of it. And I couldn't, for the life of me, figure out 
what that stink was. <laughs> and I, as soon as I touched this, it got on my hands. It was like wafting in the cart. <laughs> Look at the top. It's a little, it's a little rose. I got it downstairs to go back in with no problems. There we go. I got a Rolodex, a real old like 70s Rolodex. It has Boeing across the front of it. So surely it comes from the Boeing's offices of some sort, but it works. It really works. So if you go like to, let's go to R and then you hit this and it opens R. <laughs> it's amazing. I just dropped it. Great. The actual pencil is still inside. It makes me laugh. Some things just if it makes you laugh and it's affordable, just why not? Because this is a conversation piece. Tell me that it's not. This is just too good. It's a little, it's so it's like the front part is kind of coming loose. So I just need to be careful with it. Anyway, it was a dollar. But look how much it matches this table. And then don't skip when you go to thrift stores, the craft section. If you're a crafter or you're trying to stock up on stuff because they have bags full of ribbon. I mean, this is like so much ribbon. We have a lot of it's like, it reminded me a little bit of like, it's all pink and not really things I typically use, but I was thinking for Valentine's crafts coming up that these could be fun for that um, with all the pink and the polka dots, you know, a lot of Neapolitan colors in here, but it was $4.99 for that much ribbon and ribbon is expensive. Pink polka dot pink stripes this plate anyway dollar 99 and it says inca ware shenago china newcastle pennsylvania furnished by green winkler company in seattle so a local little plate locally made little plate i just thought it was really sweet looking and i'll wash it and probably use this to set things on jewelry or I don't know yet actually. And then I got two books. One that's called All About Vegetables. <laughs> Riveting. The Complete Up-to-Date Guide to Vegetable Garden Planning. I like how it says up-to-date and it's like this is probably a very old book. 80, 1980, <laughs> up-to-date. <laughs> not so much, but not much changes with gardening, does it? Other than like zones. Oh, a tomato sale. I wanna go to the tomato sale. Look at this piece of magazine somebody clipped out because they were gonna go buy themselves some tomatoes in the 1980s. Very sweet, sweet thought. <laughs> anyway, I just love these old gardening books. And this one I literally didn't buy to really use it. I bought it because of how it looked. This to me looks like the Point Defiance Rose Garden and I'm gonna put this over on my desk and when I have therapy, I wanna be able to see it because in therapy, I have to imagine a happy place and the Rose Gardens is one of the places that I go to meet my anxieties, I guess you can say. Um, I have different versions of myself that we like meet there to iron out some things and it would be nice to have a visual even though there's some visuals in my yard I'm already using as tools. But anyway, I'm gonna show this to my therapist. She's gonna be like, oh, that's so nice. Cause it literally looks like the rose. This is exactly a section. I'll have to, when it's springtime, maybe if I can remember, show you this part. Actually, I have photos. I have photos right next to it. I'll put that there. Oh God. Jesus Christ, Marvin. Now we're on to the clothing. Now I'm telling you, could you kindly? I found something that I almost bought. I almost got this. I think Cider was the website on Cider was where I was thinking about. You can come up this on this cube. Do you want to come sit on the cube? That's my little hanging out buddy. <laughs> So $7.99 for this, it's a large. Um, yeah, just a really nice feeling shirt. I think it'd be kind of fun to wear jeans with it um, by itself with nothing underneath in the warmer temperatures. I can really play with this and that's why I like it, it's kind of versatile. 
and then we have this this is funny because like somebody had a bunch of clothes at the end like they had abandoned it they just set it up and then walked away I, I stood there for a while to see if anybody was going to come claim it and nobody did and it was all in my taste um pants like comfortable oh my leather pants and then a camisole top and then this and then I can use the skirt hike. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna piece together an outfit with this and see how it looks, but I'm just gonna do the professional, like typical makeup artist all black tomorrow. I don't have to do that when I'm self-employed, but I do it just for the sake of professionalism. It just really, it just looks really professional. And, uh, oh, and then something else that I thought was kind of cool in that same area. There's like a whole area that had tons of stuff that I was like, yes, 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 yes. I kept grabbing it. It's really cool how it opens up in the back like that. It almost is like a cape feeling, which I, feel like it's just very 1950s feeling but it throws you off because it's got that sporty mesh look to it it has pockets in the front it's just like a black vest it's weird it looked good over this dress i feel like it'll look good over a lot of stuff it might even look good over what i'm thinking about wearing tomorrow and then i was in a black and white you, <laughs> you can kind of tell what i'm gonna grab for at the thrift store based on what i'm wearing but i love i love a mumu I do. If I see anything with like a Hawaiian label on it, you know I'm going to grab it. Liberty House Kiyomi Hawaii Mumu. And it's covered in these huge chrysanthemums. Look at that. Look at that. That is my kind of shirt. It almost looks like zebras from afar, but when you get up close, you realize they're giant flowers. So cool, so cozy, and this is the kind of stuff I really enjoy lounging around in, <laughs> in my house. And then the final thing, <sighs> I've been looking for this exact sweater for years, for years. I'll say this is probably like my second or third winter in a row that I just envisioned in my head the perfect sweater and I just waited for the day that I'd see it at a thrift store. I actually did shop online for it to see if I can find it anywhere online. So this is a huge oatmeal, really soft, really comfortable, and really well-made button-up cardigan sweater. It's a size medium, but it fits like a really cozy oversized sweater would, and I, I love it. Like, I could not love this more. Mm, this is my ideal, my ideal cardigan length and size. Uh, so anyway, that's it. That's it for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the way to Seattle. Good morning. <laughs> I'm getting ready. My hair is still wet, but at least my makeup is done. And I was going to put on the new lip stuff and I tried it with this, but I don't like it with this makeup. And I should have turned my camera on when I did that, but I plan on wearing it tomorrow because tomorrow I'm home and I'm teaching a makeup class. So I thought it would be kind of like a fun thing to wear on camera and yeah, have my my new Moo Moo. <laughs> so I'm gonna wear that and I'm gonna do that lipstick with it. Hmm. Oh, and I'm wearing my new foundation. Well, my updated foundation and I did something today that I haven't done in a really long time. I used a beauty blender because my friend who I'm doing the little makeup thing with said that she has a beauty blender and I was like, oh, I haven't whipped mine out in a hot minute. So I went and washed it and so soft it reminds me of my dough <laughs> i love this texture things are just like squishy yeah i forgot how much i liked beauty blenders and i'm gonna compare today using this foundation with how it will look tomorrow when i'm gonna try it with a brush and that's how i try out every foundation i mean i already know with this foundation that i prefer a brush but i just wanted to double check and make sure because i kind of forgot but uh anytime you get some new texture or new formula of foundation Try it with a few different applicators, even do it. And I've said this before, I think here, but I always like to remind you if you're trying something new, try like a flat brush and swipe it on with this. Try like a denser brush so you can brush it on like that. Try a damp, it has to be damp, beauty blender and press it in with this. And then do that each day, a different one. And then compare how your face looks and do the comparison at the end of the day. So at the end of the day, look at yourself and see in the mirror what your fa face looks like. Really like give yourself a second to just observe your skin and your face. See how it looks. And from day to day, you can make a decision on which one you like most. And then now you know which applicator you prefer. Little tip there for y'all. Um, okay.
All right, outfit is on. I'm loving it. I feel so stylish. <laughs> I just haven't seen myself like professionally put together in a hot minute. So I'm just like, yeah, girl, get it. Like I look like I'm going to work it back right now. Brings back the Mac memories, but this is my new harness I just got from Cider. I'm giving it a little try out to see what I think. I really like my other one. It has double buckle, but I thought with the hike that this would look kind of cool on just one strap. So we're trying it out. So I've got it hiked up just a little bit here and I love it. It gives it kind of like a curtain and then um, some cowboy boots because they're cozy and they give my feet lots of room to move around and they're the most comfortable thing for me to stand in. All right, well, I am on my way. I have 30 minutes of wiggle which I prefer to do because you never know what's gonna happen with traffic and you never know what's gonna happen with me. If I feel like I might have a little bit of like heightened anxiety on the interstate, then I will pull off and like, you know, re-regulate my system. But I have my lucky safety, um, object. It's just an object that is used in my therapy sessions. She said you can use anything. I just preferred this because I can wear it and it was a gift from my husband. And then also just the tools that I have learned. Um, and I know, you know, to a lot of people, this might be like, like, what the hell? Why are you freaking out? But I mean, I'm, I'm home a lot. So when I'm out on uh, the interstate, it's just so overstimulating there's so much going on people are flying and there's a lot of really erratic drivers in Washington and it's gotten worse it's scary honestly like how people drive sometimes I don't know if it got like that everywhere but it's bad here if it's bad where you are let me know because I'm curious if that's just like a you know worldwide situation I also have a little bit of kava left over from the last time I made it and it's over a week old I don't know if that's Okay, I'm a little bit weird. I, I don't know if I should drink it, but I did have a sip and it had the same flavoring and the same effect that kava does, which is numbs your tongue a little bit. And that's what I'm going for. Let's try it. It tastes like kava. It's really good. <laughs> Done with the bridal makeup. She was so sweet and so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like brides have that extra special kind of like, it is a bridal glow, but they just have this like energy. It's just an endearing excitement about the event and what's gonna happen and just all of that. And it's so cute. I just love it. It's the one part about doing bridal makeup that I absolutely love. But anyway, I am on my way to my, my tattoo consultation, which is about 28 minutes away from where I am. I will let you guys know more about that when I'm leaving. I'm not gonna film in there. <laughs> that would be so embarrassing. All right, well, just as I had suspected, we have decided to go with the Baku elephant on my stomach. So we traced out my stomach and is gonna design it. And then we are booked in for two sessions in March and April. Excited to chat with him. I think his wife works for Mac Corporate. So it'll be, I, I wish she I could talk to her cause it'd be fun. I would love to talk to her and uh, just know what she does for Mac. But um, small world now. My world, but I am gonna get that tattoo on my stomach. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna suck. I'm about to get on the interstate, so I'm gonna sign this off. I'm gonna grab some food. Also, can I mention why I have the need to tell everybody my life story? Um, it's a problem, I don't know why. I just told the tattoo artist that I'm in therapy, and that's why I want to get the Baku elephant. I don't know why I had the need to tell him that. Like, he didn't ask. <laughs> like, is there no mystery, Sienna? Is there no mystery? Or are you just gonna tell everybody everything? You know, that's just who I am, okay? The moment I see you, the same with the bride. I told the bride everything. 
I told her where I grew up. I don't like I don't like doing any sort of vlogging on the um, interstate, so we're gonna have to. I figured while I'm stuck in this line to go south, I would show you some cool cityscapes of Seattle, Washington. There she is. Pretty simple makeup, nothing too crazy, but I'm wearing the Hourglass lip. It always looks so much more pink whenever I see myself in the viewfinder up here with this light. In real life, this is more of a rose, in case you're wondering. I think it'll be a really good spring lip. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> but anyway, hello and good morning and welcome back to another day with me. I am drinking my coffee still. We are going thrifting twice this week, but that is because this one's actually a project. We have our little milk pitcher and I have been deep diving into the archives as to more information I can get about this adorable little thing. All mine says is, oh, mine says Avon 17. People were saying different numbers. So I don't know what the number means at the bottom of this. I washed it out. Can you believe, oh my God, you guys are gonna freak out. I dumped out what was in here because it smelled so bad. I couldn't even, I couldn't stand it. And I soaked it in water and it smells completely gone. You, you can barely even tell, like barely even tell. So the smell is out of it, which is great because I couldn't stand it. But when I found out what this is, I realized that I had just dumped out 50 year old bath oil. <laughs> Can you believe that? It was the original bath oil that was in it. And that's why it smelled so rancid because God knows how long it's been in there. But it was the bath oil that comes in this originally back in the seventies. I found the original ad for it. This is the little picture sitting on this desk in 1972 in a Christmas ad. I found this website that has everything about Avon. And I learned actually a lot about Avon, which was really interesting. It started in like the 1800s, so it's really old. It was started by a guy who started selling perfumes like door to door. And before it was considered like an MLM, MLM or like a pyramid scheme. I saw women commenting on a woman who was asking for more information about it that they said they used to work for Avon back in the 70s and the 80s and that it never felt like an MLM because it wasn't like that. That they were just selling makeup products because they weren't working back then. They were housewives and it was just something for them to do that was fun and if their friends signed up they'd get thrown like an extra 20 bucks. So that was how it kind of like felt like an MLM because it was like oh you were somebody here's a little bonus but it wasn't the same it wasn't like the whole structure wasn't built off of the better you do and the higher you climb is the more people under you it didn't sound like it was that I did ask my mother-in-law Marcy who used to work for Mary Kay and I didn't know she had ever worked for uh, Avon before so I asked her if she'd ever worked for Avon and she said that she didn't work for Avon but she used to have this she used to have it <gasps> I was like, no way! She owned this little thing and she said it was in the 70s. That's how I knew what era to look for the ad. I typed in 1970s on Pinterest. So thanks to Marcy, I was able to find the uh, original ad because I was able to find the original year time frame that this was out and about. That helped a lot, Marcy, if you're watching. Thank you so much. Um, now that I know that, now that I'm armed with that information and I have all of this information, I'm so pumped to do a reel for Sienna and the Craftsmen. And that has really given me like a lot of motivation because my last video has gotten a lot of people have started to come over and join me and follow me on Sienna and the Craftsmen because I did that thrifting video. People seem to like my thrifty stuff. Uh, I want to stay open to be able to do crafts, cooking, and sewing, but the predominant stuff that I'll be showing on Sienna the Craftsman will be thrifty upcycles because that's just where I seem to have the most fun. But this one is going to be more of like a retro redo where I'm going to take one of these ads that I found on my research 
and I'm going to try to recreate it. So I want to find an outfit reminiscent of any of the photos here that you're seeing on the screen. I have my favorites, but if I can't find anything that reminds me of these, then I'm just gonna go with whatever seems the closest to it and try to just look the part. And then I wanna get a cute photo and I wanna make this a little Avon commercial because the old school Avon commercial used to go, ding dong, your Avon ladies here or something like that. Let me play it. Avon calling, take time out for beauty when Avon comes calling. Use Avon Cosmetics and you'll be enthralling for a pleasure filled break in your daily routine. It's time to take time out for beauty. Avon calling. So that commercial is super, super old school. And I do, I think vaguely remember hearing or seeing those on the TV back when I was a kid. If I, I think I remember it. I mean, I, I know about it. So if I, if I remember it and I know about it, I mean, if Avon was around in the 80s and 90s, so was I. So I had to have heard these. This is going to be like a new fun collection for me as, you know, more vintagey things that I can look for at antique stores is these old Avon perfume bottles. It's kind of where I'm at right now. Yay! Another thrift outing. I'm in such a good mood. Can you tell? And I have on my foundation. Here's a few things. First of all, this came today and it is a early perimenopause journey test. It like tests your something. What? What? It's something under the couch. Well, we're not going to be able to focus until we get back. This place is a mess. We need to clean the house. A green Okay. Emily and I were talking about this and we were saying that it would be nice to know. So your FSH levels can vary. Find out your stage. It's not that it's gonna be 100% correct, I would imagine, but it's some test results that you can take in to discuss with your doctor. I thought, why not? I'm just gonna try it. I am in my 40s, I'm feeling symptoms, and I just want a little bit more of an under understanding of what's going on. Cameron Diaz and Drew Barrymore have a Instagram that has all these resources for women who are perimenopausal and menopausal and throughout like menopause for me I'm imagining won't happen till I'm in my 50s that's, that's what my mom said and that you typically do kind of follow the patterns of your mom not always so I just I just feel like this will be this will be helpful so if anybody wants to know I'll try to keep you updated on this you test there's five sticks in here and it's like a, something you do over a span of weeks. It's very much like a pregnancy test, which is so wild. <laughs> but yeah, I'll keep you posted. So I got these because I bought those spiral candlesticks and I thought they would match. Oh, they're cute. I want to do like an Easter spring table. Isn't that so cute? It's a little piece of lettuce with a rabbit at the top and I love it so much. It's so spring and it even has on the bottom like little feet to keep it raised. I just thought that was really cute. This skirt that is actually Urban Outfitters skirt. I just thought it was so cute. Here is the piece that we're going to do this entire styling after. It looks very similar to the one that the girl in this photo is wearing. It's just red instead of white. Oh my gosh, look at this dress. This is so cute. Yeah, this is a Sienna dress for sure. It's very baby doll. Maybe I could use my hike. Give it a little like, you know, hike it on both sides. Oh, okay, I gotta try it. Are you ready for possibly the cutest mashup of sexy and adorable flirty cuteness for Valentine's Day you've ever dang seen? You ready for this? Oh my freaking God. I love this so freaking much. I like the way it kind of bunches up up here. I actually like that a lot. And the way that the skirt hike and the harness works together to give this a little lift in the front. I love it. So this is my Valentine's Day outfit handled. I don't even think we know where we're going yet, but this is what I'll be wearing. Oh my God, I feel so cute. I've already had girls asking me in my DMs on Instagram what this is. And I was like, it's a skirt hike. So I have a feeling if you already like the harness look, this is a way to add 
a little bit of something interesting and unique to it. I've not seen it done, so you've seen it here first. <laughs> I, I did not invent this skirt hike. You might see like women going to Renaissance fairs use a lot because they um, hike up the front of like the petticoat part of the skirt. Uh, so that's what you will see those worn a lot as in like cosplay for Renaissance fairs. But I think the idea is brilliant that you can bring it into your normal day to day since harnesses have kind of, you know, been having their moment right now thanks to Sammy Jeff Coat. I tried on the skirt and it doesn't fit. So I gotta think what I wanna do, if I wanna return it or what. It's really too bad because it does fit. I can close it and zip it. It's just, I can't breathe. I feel so uncomfortable and it's it comes up really high. And so when I buttoned it closed, I was like, oh, <laughs> like I couldn't, my rib cage was being completely constricted by it. So that's a no. Okay, I'm gonna go finish what I started. Okay, I just finished my hair and as you saw, I applied that new, uh, like a touch up of the lip. And it, the stuff is glossy. Like I'm, I'm impressed. And yeah, I just did my little photo shoot to insert myself into the ad. Here is that. <laughs> it came out so good. I'm obsessed. I love it so much. It's so cute. Okay. That's it for this week's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. And until next time, happy thrifting. Is that my new tag? It might be. Bye. I like to share that